ah, tutorial 10c. Now we do a bit of work with variables and some maths. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to go through the steps in the tutorial. So step one, we did that. Step two, we did that. All right, step three. Make two variables. One is called num1 and the other one is called num2. So let's do that. Num1, make another one and we'll call that num2. Number one, number two. Cool. Then it says, at the start of the program, set the value of num1 to a random number between 1 and 5. Okay, so here we go. At the start of the program, set the value of num1. Now I chose num2, but you can just switch that and just click on the drop down. Num1, easy. So on start, set the value of num1 to a random number between 1 and 5. And if you remember, our random blocks are inside of maths. There they are there. Pick a random number, great, pop that in there, between 1 and between 1 and 5, there we go. So that was the first step, step 5 over there was set the value of num2 to a random number between 5 and 10. Now because I am lazy, I don't want to go and click through everything again, watch this, right click, duplicate, set it back in there and just change that to num2 and change that to 5 and 10. See, I could have recreated that whole thing from scratch again, but you want to save time and you want to save clicking, really, you do. So we've got on start, set num1 or the value of num1, the variable, remember that container I spoke about, set the value of num1 to a random number between 1 and 5. Also, set the value of num2 to a random number between 5 and 10. So that's done. That's the first thing done. Next it says, add the two numbers to each other when button A is pressed and display the result. So that's a command on input. Input on button A pressed. Great. Add the two numbers to each other and then show the result. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So math. Um, let's go. Oh, you know what? Even easier. Show number pop that in there maths this plus that okay there we go so far so good and we're going to use our variables so num1 plus num2 that should do it let's have a look so we've started our program two random numbers have been selected when I press button A it will show me the addition of those two numbers and it is 1 3 13 so that's the number there perfect that was actually pretty easy what else do we need to do then it says uh, when button B is pressed subtract num1 from num2 so when button B is pressed so here we go input on button pressed let's go there change that to B and you know what again let's just work smarter here duplicate this whole block pop it in there and we're just going to swap these two around because it's num1 being subtracted from num2 okay and just choose subtract i mean you could build that again from the blocks but it's really quick and easy to do it this way so on button b show the number and that'll be num2 minus num1. So if I go and press button B, it's 5. Button A is 7. Button B is 5. So that's remember, every time the program starts, it's a random number. There was one more new one here. It says press, pressing buttons A and B simultaneously must generate a new random number. Cool, that's easy enough. So let's go to our input. And on button A pressed, it's stood down here, and it's A and B together. And we then, you know what, just duplicate these two blocks because we're just generating random numbers all over again. So it's just doing that again. So there we go. So when you press A and B, new random numbers are generated. It's not as bad as what you thought, eh? <laughs> 